fall in love with a picture. Isn't it really more fall in lust? Good morning, Ronald. Hi, Joe. How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Thanks for sitting with me here in Kiev. It's a pleasure for me, definitely. You've been here for almost two weeks now? Four. Yes, a little bit less, 12 days, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So before we talk about your experience meeting all your lovely ladies, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, before we talk about that, let me ask you the first burning question I have. It's really my favorite question because it educates your fellow man out there and helps him avoid all the booby traps, helps him be successful quicker, you know, mm -hmm. take the fast track to success. And that question is, if you could rewind the clock back to six years ago when you first started looking for love in Ukraine and do this whole journey differently, what would you do differently? I would definitely uh, search for some uh, professional help. At that time, when I started, I really didn't even know that existed, you know, so I just wanted to do it on my own because mm -hmm. you become an expert in uh, the internet. Mm -hmm. So I thought I could do it on my own, but I didn't know that people like you existed, or, uh, you know, which is a, a wonderful agency. I'm really glad I met you. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Sure. Well. You're welcome. Uh, can I ask you, what um, ballpark, what are you out of pocket on your journey? Uh, you mean how many yeah. have I invested yeah. uh, since I started? Yeah. Well, uh, an estimation during six years, it would be at least $40,000, maybe more, yeah. maybe more. And don't feel bad, really. Uh, it seems like most of our clients are in the that sort of ballpark. Well, it really, it really hurts. It hurts anyone because yeah. actually the crisis I am in my company with $40,000 right now, I would not be in any crisis at all. Mm -hmm. So 40000 so it, it hurts. Uh, it stings. It does. Yeah. It really does. But, but really, is, is the most costly part of it the forty grand, or is it the lost time no. and the broken hearts? Right. Mm -hmm. That's actually true because uh, it does, it's, it's not about money only it's about feelings time I was 55 then now I am 61 I'm not the same man that I was when I started I look better before uh, now six years later I'm older yeah, time so, waits for no man, but you do. Doesn't he look great? <laughs> you would never guess 61. <laughs> but it's true, time waits for no man, and, and six years makes a difference at our age, doesn't it? Yeah, so it's a waste of time. Yeah. And I used to fall in love very easily with uh, any medium looking girl. Now I meet a beautiful girl, and I don't fall in love so easily. Maybe not that's on the first good. day, right? Not on the first day. Second or third, at least. <laughs> well, before it was just virtually. Virtually, which is yeah, not, yeah, picture. Yeah, yeah pictures. Yeah, yeah. And now not even meeting them. So my heart is being hardened. Yeah. It's yeah. not the same as when I started. And that hurts me because yeah. I think I am a sensitive man. I have good feelings. Yeah, I think you are too. You're, you're a very uh, sensitive feeling guy. And that's the thing. That's one of the big costs is it hardens the heart, like you say. And then when we harden our heart, that's really like it's building a wall. And then love can't come through that wall when we meet somebody genuine, right? Yeah. So, so Some, sometimes I'm afraid that I might not even be able to fall in love again mm -hmm. or, or love like I would have loved mm -hmm. someone six years ago. Because I've met uh, through dating sites, I don't know, maybe uh, 1,000 girls. Mm -hmm. Over and six years. Yeah. Over six years. And I fell in love maybe 40 times, 30, because they are gorgeous girls, you know. But can I call you, call you on something? Fall in love with a picture. Isn't it really more fall in lust, guy to guy? Well, it's more like a dream. Uh -huh. Like you have an illusion. A dream, yeah, illusion of love. An illusion yeah. that can come true because the girls are real. You can see them in cameras. Uh, I never got to call them because I know that would be very expensive. But uh, on chatting and video, mm -hmm. which is usually $2 per minute, I think. 
but minutes go quickly. And usually those cameras are, are already pre-recorded. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I was surprised, but Dima taught me that, the guy that's been doing his camera checks for 18 years. Huh. Right. Yeah. Well, that's new for me because they really look real. Because even... Well, they're real, but they're just on, on video loops. Mm -hmm. Until you ask them to do something specific. And I don't know exactly how it all works, but it's just... Um, uh, Dima told me that the videos are usually scams too, which mm. was a surprise to me too. So Ronald, can you maybe maybe tell us a story that you have that would help teach a lesson, help educate a fellow guy watching this to avoid big booby trap? Well, I will tell you the worst story that I had. 